my name is Manchika Gupta and I study in grade 9 in Idle Public School. I am a contestant at the 8th Lead Awards. So the name of my journey is Dare to be Free. When I was first asked what do I think about leadership, only one thought came to my mind. Leadership means knowing when to step in. This doesn't necessarily mean ordering people around, but rather knowing when to step back, help out and take decisions for ourselves and for others. Leadership isn't just leading on others, but knowing when to be led to. These are the six virtual challenges that we were asked to complete. The first one was making a wand of your own that can solve any leadership problem. So the wand I made was the wand of action. The wand of action helps against procrastination since that is one of my biggest downsides. Then coming on to the next one, vision board. In the vision board we were asked to tell what do we want to become. And I chose cosmologist. For those of you who don't know what a cosmologist is, a cosmologist is basically a person who studies stars, the space, cosmos and the universe. We were also asked to write down the skills that we would want to have in our vision board. The first one is mathematical and physics learning. Then the second one goes on to determination, hard work and a thirst for more knowledge. Then analytical thinking, research and passion. And finally higher studies is definitely a huge part of it. Then the next one was the, st uh, was the story that I would like to create using my own toys. The story I decided on was to knowing when to go out of the box and when uh, it's basic it basically revolves like any other fairy tale around three animals. A fish, a bird and a monkey. The monkey feels useless for it cannot swim like the fish nor can it fly like the bird. How however However, later it discovers that it can actually do a lot more. So the moral of the story is, it doesn't matter whether you like to fly, or whether you like to swim, or whether you just like to climb trees. Whatever you are, be good at it, and take pride in it. Then the next challenge was health in the kitchen. Honestly, this was the one which I found to be the most difficult considering I don't really work in the kitchen a lot. However, this challenge helped me discover that I actually like working there. The five things I did was making a sandwich for my family, making a vegetable salad, rearranging the refrigerator, washing the dishes and making the coffee. To be honest, the first day I was incredibly messy, being my first time helping them out. However, as the days went on, by the fifth day, I actually became quite adept at it. My family de definitely led me on. Then the next was how to make the world a better place. So the topic I decided on was animal cruelty. To me animals are a very important part of our life on this planet. And being cruel to animals is just wrong and horrendous. And therefore I took upon this challenge to make this a little lesser than this world. The outcome I wish to achieve is to raise awareness within my society and friends and to make any impact that I possibly can using social media and using seminars. The other is to tell people to not riddle food and or articles. Now how can I make the world a better place? Firstly, awareness within society. This is definitely the first and foremost thing to do considering it only starts when you start with around you. Then second, organizing food bins for cows. Bins are decided to donate food for cows without using plastic. And then thirdly, signboards on link roads to make sure that people look out for incoming stray dogs or cats. And the next one is social action or economic inequality. So when I was asked to think about a social issue, the first thing that came to my mind was economic inequality since it's such a big factor in the world today. Now what is econ what are economic standards and therefore the first thing I decided to do was raise awareness for myself on this topic. I tried to study the previous census and compare how have we changed, where are we changing and where the problem actually lies. Then the second was finding the reason for not being able to overcome it even in the past 75 years of our independence. 
that's when I got to know about the vicious and the virtual cycle. About how people who are educated and have a good job go on to produce children who are educated and have a good job. How people who have big businesses have children who continue those businesses. And how people who are poor and uneducated are not able to provide the same for their children too. This is called the vicious and the virtual cycle. The virtual cycle is the uh, one that helps uh, that helps you. However, the vicious cycle is the one that happens to poor people. So it's actually about the level of education one has. And then finally, sharing my knowledge with children my age to make them aware. The reason I picked children my age to share this knowledge was because we are the future leaders. We are the ones who are going to be leading this world in the next upcoming few years. And then finally, my overall details. My reach was oh, a somewhat over a hundred people. I spent about 10 days doing this entire project and finally the amount spent was around 1500 rupees. Now the challenges I faced, well certainly my biggest challenge was time management since I used to procrastinate a lot. However, I definitely overcame it. And the second was selecting a specific topic since there are so many topics I feel strongly about. However, I'm very confident in the ones I did end up selecting. Then finally, overall learnings. When I was asked to list my learnings, I decided not to list them, for learning cannot be just counted in bare numbers. It is something that you keep acquiring over time, and even the learnings that I did take, I definitely have a lot to work upon them. So I'm going to be sharing my experience. It was a wonderful way to put myself out there and see what I'm actually capable of. One of the biggest highlights of this entire program was the lead camp. But I got to meet so many people my age who had such different views. We were similar yet so different. The skills utilized. Much of the skills I utilized was taking in as much knowledge as I gave out. Because, when, because I realized when you actually hear and then decide on something is when you actually become a good leader. Because it's very much possible that other people have so many better ideas than you. And instead of just taking one idea when you combine them, that is when you actually get a solution. my leadership journey in five lines, I was reminded of a tree outside my house. Have you all heard of a Gulmoha tree? Well, I have one right outside my house and it changes itself drastically every season. From completely bare in winters to a lush green in spring and a fiery red in summers. That's a leader, one who adapts and doesn't dwell too much on the winter. However, I used to dwell on it a lot. I learned to not to do that and embrace all the challenges equally. That's my leadership journey in five lines. Thank you very much everyone.